Nander, curious how, what went into the decision to just focus on hitting right-handed and maybe how has that helped your approach or comfort at the plate? Um, I think it was a decision based on kind of more of results and kind of confidence a lot too. Uh, I think just focusing on one side of the plate uh, really builds confidence. Uh, you can spend more time working on, you know, one side and, you know, just, you know, get results that way, I think. Uh, and that's not only going to benefit me, but it's also going to benefit the team if I'm able to, you know, get better at bats every time I go up to the plate. On that note, do you feel like it's taken a load off your shoulders having to only focus on doing one thing instead of many things, essentially? Uh, yeah, I, I think it definitely does. Like I mentioned, um, just focusing on one side and kind of trying to perfect that craft on the right side. I think it's, like I said, it's going to benefit me and also the team. Uh, Meet was talking about just all the competition in the infield. Uh, what's that like at practice? Are you is it is everything really fast paced to try to get everybody get a lot of reps? And are you working with different guys in different situations? How does that how is that going? Uh, yeah, the competition is uh, really high right now. I mean, you kind of love to see it, especially as a player. You got people around you pushing you to you know be the best version of yourself. And yeah, we meet is always constantly moving guys around, especially with the whole. You know, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, you kind of have to, you know, figure different things out. You know, people playing third, people playing first, people even playing the outfield, trying to move guys around just in case anything happens. But, but yeah, for sure, the competition in the infield is it's really tight right now. Um, you know, just kind of wait, see what, what's going to happen. And then there, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Seminole team that had this many pitchers on it. So, I mean, like 23 pitchers. Is that an advantage to you preparing for the season that you get to see a lot of different looks in practice? I definitely believe so. I think uh, we have one of the you know best pitching staff in the nation. I uh, everybody here that uh, all the 23 guys are you know top notch. They all really you know try to get us out, and, and if anything benefits us to face you know the best of the best, I think uh, we are facing them a lot all the way back from the fall all the way to now the spring. I think it's, it's only going to get us better side hitters and then it's only going to make them better as well. Just uh, that competition between pitchers and, and hitters is always growing. And I think uh, at the end of the day, it only benefits the team you know, like overall. I know uh, their progress was gradual, but you know, like Robbie and Elijah and some of the guys who've changed their bodies this off season, was there a point where you looked around like, man, how, how, how different they look or, or because it happened gradually, did you not really notice it? Uh, I think, it, I mean, especially it was kind of impactful. I've ever seen you know, Elijah again. And then of course, Robbie, I mean, I've been with them for three years. I mean, I'm Robbie's roommate. So, I mean, it's yeah, definitely impactful. I think if anything, it benefits their game and, you know, you know, helps them in their baseball careers. Uh, I mean, I, especially because we had such a long break after the last game of the season, I, I wasn't really, you know, in contact with them as much, but of course just kind of texting and stuff. And then just kind of when you see them back again in the fall, back in August, you're just kind of like, wow, guys, you guys are, you know, you can tell the guys were putting in the work, you know, trying to get better. And I think at the end of the day, uh, that's the most important part, you know, you just kind of take care of yourself and then, you know, you just kind of do whatever you need, whatever you need to do to help the team. Reese coming into the year, I guess, getting be, to be a part of the whole off season, coming into the year healthy after having done that. I mean, how much of a difference have you seen it make in just what he's been able to do? I mean, as a leader, as a bat in the middle of the lineup, all of the above. You know, all of, all of us haters see Reese as a leader. I mean, he's a guy that cares a lot about us, cares a lot about the team. He always puts the work in as well. And he's a great role model. I mean, he's been here for you know, three years. I mean, he's done a lot for Florida State, you know, from the home runs to the walk-offs and the ACC home run, the LSU, all those, all those little things. And, all, you know, I feel like that's kind of separates, you know, the good players from the great ones, you know, those little moments whenever the pressure's on. And, you know, I think having him on the team back this year, it's, it's a great asset, especially, you know, also having a lot of pitchers coming back and a lot of kids coming back. I feel like, you know, the team's looking really good. It's, it's a great mix of, you know, veterans with, um, you know, with young arms that I think is really going to take us to the next step. That's you're just like, do you guys as a team, do you guys still set the goal of going to Omaha or is it just let, let's play the season and see whatever happens just because of all the uncertainty in the world. The goal is always Omaha. I mean, we never, we never kind of think of us regular season. We always thinking about the bigger picture. We always want to, 
you know, set the bar high. We want to push our, you know, we want to push our guys, our, my teammates, you know, to, you know, to reach that goal. You know, being able to play in Omaha my freshman year, I think is probably not a better experience to, you know, reach that place. But I think now this year, you gotta have a different mentality of not only going to Omaha, but also, you know, having a, you know, a legitimate shot at the championship. And I think, you know, with this team and with the team mentality right now, I think, you know, I think we have the right mindset to, you know, get over that hump and, you know, hopefully challenge for, you know, a cold full series this year. With last season getting cut short, like how excited are you to get back out there again? How much fun is that going to be? Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. You know, I mean, it's been more than, I uh, want six, seven months to ever you have played a competitive game, you know, against other teams. Even the first game in the fall, I remember when I got back, it was, you know, you still feel that excitement from the first scrimmage. You still like you're going back on the field nine, nine against nine. It's just, it's just a real good, really good feeling. You know, you just, you know, have the opportunity to be out there. But definitely looking forward for next Friday. I mean, like I said, the team looks ready. Everybody's mentality is, on, you know, set right. And, you know, just kind of hoping, you know, have a good year. And, you know, I think, like I said, this team is, is really, you know, firing on all cylinders. Anything else for Nander? All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Hey, Robbie. We've heard a lot about your body transformation. Can you kind of walk us through what you did in order to acquire the change? Oh, yeah. For me, it was nothing nothing too big of a change. Really just uh, got back home after last season got shut down and really wanted to work on uh, just getting in better condition and better shape to – Play, come back and play a full season in the outfield. Do you do you feel any different? Um, like when you're out there playing? I mean, are there things you could do from a stamina standpoint or anything like that? Yeah, for sure. That's definitely the biggest notice that I've uh, I've saw by myself so far is just just being out there and practice going easy and not not being too drained or too tired, uh, whether that's working out or just just in our, you know, our, our longer practice practices that we have, uh, it's just been easier to get through them and just feeling better. Probably your uh, your hometown has become the town of champions now. Is that going to be an omen for for the Seminoles this year? With having some Tampa guys on it. Oh yeah, we got we got a lot of us Tampa boys on the team, so uh, that's definitely what we're aiming for uh, uh, for the team. And for ourselves is to bring one home from from here and get the first one for Florida State. How, you, I mean, you've played alongside Reese for a number of years now. I guess what kind of a difference have you seen this off season? Him being fully healthy coming into the season, being able to be a part of the entire off season make for him. Yeah, definitely, a, definitely a huge change. I got to play with him this summer as well, and uh, just seeing just seeing him being in the box uh, more confident. I think uh, he was just just about to get going last year before he got shut down, hitting the two homers in the last game. And uh, definitely this this fall and uh, leading into this spring so far, definitely seen a, a big confidence boost with him at the plate. And I think I think he's going to have a really big year for us. What's it like um, in scrimmages or practices where when they're just rolling out all these arms um, as, as a hitter? Is it? I mean, what kind of challenge is that, that there's so many different guys that can throw? Yeah, it's difficult, but it's fun. And, uh, you know, it's a good challenge for us hitters just because, you know, we go in postseason and things like that. That's, that's the kind of caliber of arms we're going to be facing. So it's good for, us to, good for us to get used to it and get a lot of at-bats off of our own guys. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't be excited to be any other team going up against us this year that has to face our staff. Uh, Meat talked a lot uh, about the shuffling of the infielders and Nander commented as well. Uh, just as an outfielder, what does that look like? Is similar switches in the outfield happening to you as well? Or is it a little bit easier to switch positions in the outfield as compared to the infield? Uh, yeah, I think I think it's a, l- a little bit easier. Uh, we're all pretty versatile. Uh, everyone on our team has kind of been moved around and I think actually that's something that's going to help us this year uh, with COVID, you know, someone goes down or something like that with 
with us being able to move all around and have different guys be able to play different positions going to be going to be a positive for us. Probably you came in and uh, played under 11 and uh, now you're in the, under me. Uh, comparing uh, what you saw under 11 when you were playing under him and, and what is going on there now, what kind of differences do you see in that? I think the biggest thing is uh, tempo and definitely things we've adjusted upon at the plate, um, being more aggressive and being ready to hit fastballs and really focusing on uh, being ready at the plate, you know, getting, being ready early to hit fastballs early in the count. Uh, it's a little bit different than uh, 11 of, 11's approach. Um, but other than that, the biggest thing I've seen is uh, tempo and just trying to, trying to beat the other team mentally. Robbie, you almost look like a hockey player going out the hair. What, what, did, what did Mead have to say about that? Are you growing that out until uh, you guys make it to Omaha or something? Uh, I don't, I've, I've trimmed it, but uh, he hasn't, hasn't touched on it too much. We actually got quite a bit of guys with the longer hair now, but, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit different than the past. You say a bunch of guys. I mean, is that something where everybody just kind of individually took it upon themselves or the group kind of all said, let's all grow our hair out? Oh, no, it's more individual. I think, you know, a lot of quite a bit of the guys, you know, freshmen came in with their hair longer. So I think it's more of just how the guys feel and want their hair. Uh, haven't really, we actually started doing buzz cuts. So there's quite a bit of guys with buzz cuts now that we're kind of getting into and seeing where that goes. What have you, um, with Nander hitting just from one side of the plate now, have you seen him? Any progress there? Or do you think that's been a good move for him? Yeah, definitely. Uh, seen a, a, a huge increase in uh, his confidence at the plate as well, and just getting used to seeing the ball from that side of plate uh, facing righty righty now. Uh, I think in the fall he had to do a little bit more adjusting, but he's definitely, definitely so far this this spring has had really good at bats uh, righty righty, and I've seen a, a big difference with him just being able to focus on focus on one side of the plate. Now, so I also just wanted to ask you about the, just from a big picture standpoint, uh, having last season cut short when you guys just had you know, just a couple of big wins and um, just the excitement about getting ready to play real baseball again. Yeah, we're all very excited. Uh, I think we're kind of at the point where we're uh, kind of not too excited about going out there and facing our own staff every day. So I think we're just excited to get, get this uh, last week of practice over with and go and face somebody else and some some other arms in a different uniform. All right, anything else for Robbie? Chris, you got one? No. Okay. All right, thanks, Robbie. We're good. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, Robbie. Good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, guys.